Channel 3 Eyewitness News begins with breaking news. We are on top of breaking news right now in Hartford. If you're just waking up with us, the Hartford Police Department dealing with the death of one of their own this morning after a police officer was killed in an overnight crash. And we know that another police officer was hurt in that crash. We also know that one suspect is in police custody this morning. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Cassidy Williams is live right now on Asylum Avenue where that crash took place. And Cassidy, we're, we were watching the crews uh, load the police cruiser onto the flatbed. And Nicole and Wendell, we're getting a closer look at both of the cars involved as they tow them away. Right now, they are towing away the Honda Accord that was involved. You can see the front end of it all smashed in. The police cruiser was towed away about 10 minutes ago. It appears these are the only two cars involved, the only that we can see from this vantage point about a block away from where it happened. The crash was there at the intersection of Cogswell and Asylum. We want to give you a look at what the scene looked like last night when our crews first got here. That's when you can see the two cars that were involved. The police cruiser looked like it was almost in the bush there. Hartford police have confirmed that one police officer died, another officer was injured, and that a suspect is now in custody. Police have spent the night looking at this crime scene, investigating it, taking away evidence as they work to figure out what led up to this crash. Police have not yet released any details about that or any details about the suspect. We are working to get more information. An emotional night, an emotional morning for the Hartford Police Department. Roger Suzannon is over at the medical examiner's office where that officer's body was taken just a short time ago. Roger, what is the scene like there? What have you been seeing? Well, Cassidy, we have been seeing dozens of police officers first arriving here at the medical examiner's building, and now finally over the last 15 minutes or so, we've seen most members of the law enforcement community that arrived here leave. But I also want to show you some video that we captured earlier. Our photographer, Beth James, was at the scene. As you can see, that officers saluted the fallen Hartford police officer as their body was taken here to the medical examiner's building in a vehicle. An incredibly somber day and a historic day in a horrible way. The last time that a Hartford police officer died in the line of duty was back in 1996 when Officer Thomas Tuohy died of a heart attack. And now we have seen dozens of different agencies come here to the medical examiner's building and pay their respect for that fallen officer. Again, there are so many questions about what happened, but the one single truth that we know is the most awful fact of all, and that is the fact that an officer was killed in the line of duty in Hartford again for the first time since 1996. We're live here outside the Medical Examiner's Building in Farmington. I'm Roger Suzanne, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.